What's going on guys, it's Universal Walks and today I'm going to be reviewing Inside. Inside is a platformer puzzler brought to you from the guys that made Limbo. So it's going to have a lot in common with Limbo. It's a very dark and eerie game. Uh, it's a lot of puzzles and they're not really as hard as some of the ones in Limbo, but they're a little bit more in depth, I guess you would say. And there's a lot of stuff that this game really has going for it. And this is one of my favorite games this year so far. Uh, and it's roughly about a four to five hour game and that's including finding all the secrets so you're gonna run through this game extremely quick but however it's never really about the amount of time you spend in the game when you're doing it you're gonna be enjoying what you're doing there's a lot of unique puzzles and a lot of the the secrets and achievements are really actually fun to find for yourself and I would say look for these by yourself before you go on online and look them up and I actually have uh, I have all the videos and I split them up so if you guys want to check those out go right ahead uh, but one of the things that this thing game, game does right is the beginning I feel like the beginning was the best part of the game when you're actually trying to get in and trying to escape from the guys chasing you and it's like when they actually get you it's just like oh my god did that really just happen and yeah, it's just awesome, and I love this game. And like the like I said, for me though, the beginning was the best part. I didn't want to show any gameplay at the end because it kind of does like a weird turn. And uh, yeah, I wanted you guys to see that for yourself. I didn't want to do any kind of spoilers or minor spoilers or anything like that. But this game is a great game, and I really have no beefs with the game right now. Like I said, for me personally, the the best part of the gameplay is the beginning. Uh, and it's like really dark and eerie. It stays really dark and eerie throughout the whole game. But you can obviously tell that this is made by the guys that made the game. It's pretty much the same type of play style. And there's not a whole lot of... Uh, you're not going to have too many problems solving all the puzzles in this game. They're all pretty easy. There's really no difficult puzzles in the game. There's a couple that might trip you up for a little bit. But for the most part, the game is really easy. And it's super fun and like I said I, I enjoy this game I highly recommend you guys check this game out it's only 20 bucks so if you have it and it's not gonna break you or anything I'd say check it out it's an awesome game you're gonna love it if you especially if you if you like limbo and you've played limbo and you're just debating if you want to try this game out and you think it's too much like limbo it's not too much like limbo it's pretty it's its own game it's not like a like a Limbo 2 or anything. It's, I mean, it's a different game completely. It just looks a lot, a, a lot alike. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, and some of the thing that the game does right is the, like I said earlier, the surprises and elements and the actual, you trying to survive and doing all these puzzles. And there's just some moments where you're like, oh my god, that's awesome. And this is crazy. And, like I said, just towards the end of the game, it kind of gets. I don't even know. But let's look at this puzzle right here. Okay, this is one of the ones that tripped me up. It's I thought you had to stop it, but you actually have to get it timed perfectly to where you can follow it up and get all the way across because if you stop it too early, you'll get up here and you'll get it pretty much destroyed. But yeah, the puzzles in this game are a little bit different from the ones in Limbo. Like I said, they feel more advanced or more depth than what the ones from Limbo were. But like I said, this game is an amazing game, and I really think you guys should check it out. And like I said, so far for me, I had no major complaints with this game, and I would really, 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 really recommend you guys get out and play this game. And it's... It will definitely get, get you away from your shooters, your Overwatch for a little while, your Destiny, or whatever other games that you guys are sinking so many hours in. I know for me, it's always uh, a great escape to get into some of these little short indie games and just have have so much character from a game that you only go in two directions. But yeah, so that's my review of the game. And like I said, I, I would give this game a 8.5 or a 9. Uh, I feel like it could have been a little bit longer, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.